Go. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> this is Rylan and Gigi this time. I'm Gigi. Making a Hi. picture of some know. flowers. Nice. Okay. And I, I did hands. something on the back of the paper. This is a we pretty good water. That, that's the, the best that I can do. That I can do. But what we're really doing is the flowers right now. So today we're painting flowers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which I paint a lot of flowers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to start with my lucky brush. Your lucky brush is a flat brush? Mm-hmm. My lucky oh, brush yeah. is a round brush. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And I am the round brush, too. I'm going to start with a little light blue for one of the, starting with the petal. Okay. I'm going to start with hot pink. Is that all right? Yes. You do whatever you want for the painting. Okay. We're going to paint so side by side. It's all about trial and error. Yes. I love that. Okay. I'm gonna if make it was me paint, you don't know what that is. I'm going to go with some pink here. Look at that pink. Yeah. It's as luscious as that blue is. And then, you know what I'm going to do? I have that same blue on my palette. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put some blue in it and let it turn purple. I think my palette is. Look, I'm trying to darken my no. light up, look like the ocean. Look, it's like an ocean flowers look. Well, Mostly. I like putting those two things together. Oh, yeah, an yeah. Ocean flower. Uh, yes. I turned oh, that earring from uh, that. Hey, why is this one don't have another flower? We'll put one in there then. Oh. Well, these are cone flowers, don't and the don't top of them sticks up like that. Yeah. But you can do whatever you want with it, right? Because it's your painting. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's okay. And you get to do whatever you want to your painting. Hey, look. I'm going to put some yellow yeah, in with paint. my pink. Yeah. What do you think yeah. about that color right there? Yeah, perfect. Pretty. Mm -hmm. I like to yes, let my colors this. mix. I don't really like that. Yeah, it's usually kind of it, I like to usually kind of like mix it right up to look like Whoa. something else. Like do you think this flower over here oh, needs I some need of that blue paint. on it? Do you want to put some blue on this one? How about we I'm just kind of mix it in? Okay. Yes. Can I have some little dots? Yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, I think I have to use green. Oh, look, it's making a little green in some. Let's pick it up and let it run. Look at that. Yeah. Yummy. That looks cool. Yeah. Well, let me you keep You know what? I'm going to mix some red with this after I'm done. With Do you want me to put some pink in it right now? No, I'm just... Hey, I'm trying to uh, get this... I'm going to let the red run down, but not the blue. I don't okay. want the blue to run down. Okay. I yeah. like how that that yellow made a really pretty orangey color, like salmon. Yeah. Like a fish. Look at that color. Mm -hmm. I you think the blue and the pink look good together. Look what I kind of did back there. Like a little... Oh, that's good. I love those edges. Mm-hmm. Hard, hard edges and soft edges. You should have both. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, what about this dude in the middle here? I'm going to get started on him. What hey, color is he going to be? Hey, you can start whenever you want on a new flower. Okay, I'm going to do the, my center. And the center, I think, is going to be yellow and orange and then maybe almost black at the bottom like a sunflower. Have you ever seen the middle of a sunflower? Yeah. They're dark. I'll, I'll take mm -hmm. care of these two flowers. Sure. All right. Oh. I just need to get a really good red. I want to find that kind of bumpy shape, like it has seeds that in it. flower's not going to be as good as Gigi's, but you can paint this one, okay? I'm going to the yellow make it. and the orange mixed together. Yeah, you paint your flower. Mm, I don't know why I like that. I do like it. I think I need blue. You want to see if it'll run? No, 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 no. Okay. No I like it just like that. Okay. Look how look how it makes kind of a pretty shape, kind of. Yeah, like a starburst. Yeah. It looks just kind of like a mixture, like it kind of. It just looks. It looks like me, kind of. That's looks like my you. Opinion. Looks like your style. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's it. Should look like your style, right? Not mm -hmm. like anybody else's. Okay. I want this to look like black right here. So I'm going to add really dark blue to that orangey red, and it's going to look like black. 
Guess what I'm doing. You like that now. color? I'm kind of making like a sunset on the top of the flower. Excellent. That's kind of how they look, isn't it? Like a sunset. I ever thought of that. That is a good way to describe it. Oh, I've seen a sunset. I never thought I'm about. I'm really good at them. You put, you I never thought the about the top of the flower yeah. looking like a sunset, but it sure does. Ah, this That's is the perfect one. See it? One color. Mm -hmm. I want to show you this new color I have called Quinacridone Sienna, which is like a really bright orange. That's blue. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you what it looks like on this one. I'm just going to make it blue. Oh wait, that's. That doesn't look like it. Wait, hang on. Hey, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I don't just paint like others. Just paint like yourself. I don't mean that. I, I know, but look at this color. Look. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. That's really, kind of like the color I just made. It's a little bit darker than orange, but it's not as dark as C in it. Somewhere in the middle. I like it. That's oh. some yellow on the top like that. Oh. Hey, I'm trying to paint. Was that some red? Yeah. I like it. I think this one needs some red in it. Here, I'm finished with that top. It's a beautiful top. Let me put some red in that. Oh, yes. See? Maybe some red here. I'm teaching you some stuff. Yeah, you are. <laughs> That's blue. You should Very always nice. be learning new things. Beautiful blue. Especially from other people sometimes. Yeah. Did it say black it? Everybody has ideas. Don't mix it with the red. It's going to make it brown. There, how about that? Oh. No, I think I can go to the I want to. Think it needs a little more red? Uh, yeah, kind of, I think. I'm going to put this dark color at the bottom, too. I'm not just putting that, I'm going to mix it with something. Thanks for helping with that flower. You're very welcome. I'm hey, I think the flower, too. With that, and then I'm going to move on to the petals on that one. I think I could put it far away. Maybe I have it's time for my stem, yeah. huh? Okay. I want this to kind of run down. So right. Pick it up. Look at the red. Okay. What well, does it want? You love red. Hey, there we go. Look at that. I was going to show the viewers something interesting. I'm going to so I'm going to paint with water on this stem. Watch. Just water here. Just water. It's, it could then dry. I'm going to take my green. And I'm gonna take my dark green across this dry paint. Ooh, that looks good. Now I'm gonna drop the green in right here. And yeah. watch it, watch it move. Because the water is there. See how it moves on its own? Mm -hmm. There it goes. It kind of looks cool. Yeah. I need some of that green. green this. Can you put some of that in here? Uh okay. Now, what's that mixture again? Uh, I think oh, you yeah. just use that, right? Oh, yeah, you just mix it in and then just you just... touch it in there while it's wet. Wait. And let them mix or together and see you what Bring the pat palette. Okay, let's let it run now. Wait. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's that looks fun. good. That looks palette. really good. She does have green on her palette. I have green. Do you have green on your palette? Yes, you have it. I don't have that one, though. Oh, yeah. No, wait a minute. Maybe I do. What is this one? I think it's a little Ooh, look at this blue one. Is it meridian? I made such a pretty blue. All right, put it on there. Let's see. I'm going to put it on this flower. Okay. I was going to put a little bit of wow. this quinacridone sienna. I'm making my kind wow. to be Ooh, feeble. That looks good. Yeah. I'll put I a little bit. Oops. I was going to put a little bit of brown on this stem and let it mix together. But I'm going to make all about all these colors. colors. Okay. You put what that everywhere you have into something. You want else? me to try this green mat it's on my leaf? See mm. if it's. I don't see my bus. Is that it? Look at that one I did right there. Nice. I don't see my bus. It's right here. <laughs> oh, I'm in the. In there. <laughs> you lost your brush. Didn't. I'm kind of lightening it up. See, I'm gonna do it. I got green. green. Yeah. I got this thing. Yeah, you can do your Whoa, stand. that was kind of a mistake. That was my mistake. You just make. Ooh, but that looks really pretty. I'm thinking it is pretty. That's out. a good color. I'm spreading, I'm spreading it out. I'm going to put a little blue in my leaves. You know why? Mm -hmm. I think it means Because green water. is made by mixing blue and yellow together. Mm -hmm. So if I put a little blue in it, it's okay because they're friends. Mm -hmm. How do you think about my flowers? They're very blue. 
Yeah, I really like blue. Me too. I don't think I've ever made a painting ever in my life that didn't oh have gosh. blue in it. Oh, maybe. Do you think you've ever done a painting without blue paint? I think oh, it does. Not pretty much. Yeah, pretty much have to have blue. It's the color of the sky. Give me the arts. Max is a splatter king. <laughs> oh, I like the splatter too. Hmm. Maybe I should splatter with some pink. I know I want something to run down on this, but I. Oh my goodness. Ooh, there we go. There's something on mine. That looks great. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. It, that's where the wet paint touched the wet paint. You don't like it? No, I I had that perfectly how I wanted it. Well, oh, that's what happens when you paint what, with a partner. Watercolor has its own mind. Do you want to lift it off? You know we can lift it off. Need a tissue? I'll just paint over right. it. Well, let's, wait, wait. Let's lift that color off first. I got one right here. Yeah, let's let's take that, that off. off. Let me try this. I wait. And what you're going to have to do is wait for that to dry. There, that came right off. Give it a second to dry so it doesn't run anymore. And then you can you can paint it perfectly again. Anyway, I have to get it back. Let's try it now. But it might just run again. Try not to touch the stem. There you go, that should do it. That that's better. Nope, that's I don't better. see anything running. That's it's better. Good. Okay, what are we doing next? Mm. I bet all the the drying is making that run into mine. So you know what I'm just gonna do? I'm just gonna kind of like, I need my splatter brush. I'm I'm finished with my lucky brush. I'm gonna use start using my splatter brush. Let me see the splatter brush. It's a fan brush, right? Let me see. Okay. Go ahead, you fan brush. Start to wet it, buddy. Well, that is a very good splatter brush. Uh oh. You can splatter up on this one. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like mine already. Hi, I did the other this. You guys mm -hmm. are good at the splattering. Mm -hmm. Now to end it with this one. I like to use this one at the end because it with the orange it just looks pretty. And then we just run it, let it run it down. With the Where it's blue. mixing with the green, it looks really good. Mm -hmm. Look at that! It just looks mm -hmm. like. Beautiful. Now we're gonna get some real rain into it. That is how I like it. Now might as well do the stem while you got that green on there. If you want your stem to be green. No, I'm putting in the mixer. Do you know what I do? Mm -hmm. I always put a little bit of my subject color in my leaves because they're gonna reflect the color that's around them. So my flower's pink, I put some pink in the leaf. Look at this green I just made. It's good. And now as I go in, I'm going to get lighter and lighter. As I go. How are you getting lighter? <laughs> Adding water? Yes. There I go. There we go. Maybe you need a little bit of that on here. Yeah, this is really small. Oh, no, the whole thing. Look at that. That's kind of, that's me. Little I'm waiting for mine to dry. I was going to try to scrape out. Have you ever done that? You need a credit card scraper? If you've got one. Yeah. Do you ever scrape out designs in your painting? No, that, that's not really me. I'm going to do it on this one. Just see if it works. On this one? On this leaf. Okay. Perfect. Well, your mama has everything. Okay, watch this. See if it works. There we go. That looks kind of like a dinosaur. Yeah? For footprints, huh? It's a little bit yeah. too wet in the middle to be working, but that's kind of cool. I could make I designs on the stem too. Oh, it's not dry enough. Mm -hmm. It has to be about half dry. Mm -hmm. wonder if I could make little seed, seed shapes in here. Nope. Oh, yeah, it's working. Oh, that's pretty. Look like it's seeds. I'm gonna Look at that. that. Look at that. I'm gonna make a little chicken. I'm gonna take this brush out of the water if you're done with it. Yep, this looks like I'm just putting small. it like that. That looks good. Don't I'm gonna do a few of those too. Yeah, it was small. What did you use? 
I use a dark, a black? A or? black. I, I just use regular black. Okay. I don't have black on my palette. I like to mix my own black. So I'm going to mix a black. I like to use whatever's on my palette. I just mix it up. That's actually, a, I think, neutral tint or something. Oh, that's pretty much all I'm going to do for my two flowers. I'm pretty much finished. Yeah? That's what about the background? Good. Uh... Background. Oh, the, the butterflies and the bees. Oh my gosh, stuff. we forgot about the bees. The pencil? You I have pencil. I'll, I'll do the dragonfly, little dragons. Do you need to draw them in first? No, yeah. you're ready to go. Yeah, I want you to draw it first, buddy. I. No, I, I like to get creative. Oh. I like to use mistakes and turn them into something better. All right, I'm going to make a dragonfly right here. I'm making a dragonfly over here. Oh, okay. You know there was a, a dragonfly bigger than any dragonfly. It was called the Meganira. Really? The, was, it, was it a dinosaur? It was basically a dragonfly only ten times bigger. And where? It's basically, one of its wings is longer than my arm. Was this in our time or in like prehistoric? No, that, these Maybe were in the before even the dinosaurs came in. Whoa, that's way back. You love red. Is red your favorite color, Maxwell? This one has a... Uh, uh. Yeah. Here we go. I'm just putting some dots on him. Making him look pretty. How does this... Oh, yeah. He does look good. Now I'm going to make a little... Cute little butterflies. I'm really good at butterflies, too. I'm pretty good at butterflies. <laughs> my um, logo for my paintings is a butterfly. That's nice. I made two dragonflies. I like it. I'm going to make a butterfly I right in this corner. Blood. A cute little butterfly. What else did we need? I made a dragonfly too. You know what? I think I want his wings to be a little bit purpley. Maybe they have yellow in them. What's that one? It's a butterfly. More butterflies. What does a bee look like? Here, I'll I, I show you. Okay. You take a little bit of yellow and basically you tap it a little bit all kind of over and then you can connect them and it makes that kind of shape kind of something. So that's the body. And then yeah. what you do with the black is you take and you make little bitty things like Stripes. this. And then see all that, and then you make a little head right there, and then I, I, you just make a little teeny tiny wing, and then you make the leg. And that's pretty much it. Okay. That's how I usually make a bee. Oh, how did you do that? Well, I used this round brush that makes a really good point, and I was able to do a little detail work on him. And I, I took the extra paint off so that I didn't have too much paint, so I could work in a smaller area. Don't put the whole brush in. You know what I like to do? Can I have that little yes. sketchy yes. credit card? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. I, I really, I, I have an idea how I can do it. I like to, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, you know. It has to be, like, half dry. What are you doing? Still too wet. Still too wet. Give it a minute. It'll dry. Okay. I'll just keep this over here in mind. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to make a little in your mind. line right here and make it look like a leaf. Oh, smart. Mm-hmm. But that's basically almost it. And as soon as this dry, I'm going to, and as soon as all my bugs dry, I'm going to put little leaf lines on, on the wings. Kind of. Okay. Especially this one. Are we going to do a sky background paper. or just huh? leave it white? That's, that? not, that's not paper. Hey, I know. Let's look in the mat. Let's put the mat on it and see. That will help us decide. Yes, that will. So if we were going to look at this in a mat. Don't have mat. Don't. Hang on just a second. There we go. Now, we can determine, do we like the white background or does it need a sky? I think, we should, uh, I think all we should do is just put a little bird up back there. Birds? Okay. Oh, like a little garden. Remember in the garden by the bee? Okay. That would be perfect. I think these do grow at the beach, these cone flowers. Yeah. <laughs>
bless you. Thanks. So I saw, I thought of that. Okay. So let's try that. Check yours, Max. See how it looks. See how it goes. All right. Are we gonna do like seagull kind of birds, or? Are you gonna finish your? Wait, I have an idea. All right. Are you gonna finish your flowers? To use the credit card for something else. Okay. Oh, I was gonna put right. it in the paint a little bit, and then I was gonna paint with it. it. Smart. Mm -hmm. I like it. And we'll probably it make it do. I was just gonna try it. Yeah. Try it. See how it works. I forgot your stem. I forgot your stem. Huh? I just did it. Oh yeah, that's. I think I'm done. Very cool. Ah, that would be good. You should okay. try that. I'm a lot of different colors. You do have a lot. And it looks like it looks like blue, kind of. Blue. I like blue. Mm -hmm. Nice. Maybe I can make a blue. Okay. Just your brush. I'm gonna it make a bird. Like, I, it just kind of looks like no. a blue outline. Yeah, a little silhouette. Like, this like they're flying away. You put your arm all over. Yeah, the you want to use it? Here. Um, I know. I I was. It gonna, already has black on it. I was gonna try. Okay. Let me try it. I'm going to use the black that I mixed. So. No. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's, that's pretty much what if, what if my bird like, intersects your bird, like they're flying together? Oh, yeah. That looks pretty good. And then sometimes their wings... Sorry. You didn't do anything. Sometimes their wings have a little tip on them. I, I like... I like... No... Oh, sorry. I kind of farted. Hey! Better you than me, brother. I like those two that are flying together. You know, you're not writing your name. That's right. But before we start, I, I, I still need to make that line on my books. You know? yeah, it's still pretty wet. I can show you what, do you want to pick up the extra paint or just let it dry? Just let it dry. Okay. I think, I think we should just write our name right now. Let's see if it's still pretty wet, huh? Mm -hmm. You could try it. Usually it has to be half dry, so. Uh, uh, no, you're splashing. As long as it's shiny, it, it doesn't work. Oh, the black looks good on there, though. Mm -hmm. hmm. This is actually what Stop I wanted. No, that. that's not how we do it. So no. that extra paint's coming back around. Hand. So when I you, wanted it to flow uh, all over. It's doing it. Look, I've got paint. Yeah, I know. When I'm we're done, we'll wash our hands. I think I'm done. Okay. Oh, come on. Yeah. That looks beautiful. Yeah, it does. All right. So we're going to sign it? Yeah. Do you sign it with a pencil or what? I, I can sign it whatever I have. Here's a Sharpie. Ooh, I've never actually used a Sharpie. Oh, it looks like it's going in the <laughs> The bird turned it, the A turned into a bird. Oh, I forgot the L right here. I'm just squeezing in. Forgot your own name. Mm -hmm. All right, where do you want me to sign? Down here? You can sign whatever you want. You can even sign it in cursive. I don't, I don't care. Sign it in person. How about that? That I don't I don't care what you write. I just can't fix beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean it looks like we did a good job. I think we did. I really like this flower. Yeah, I, that's my favorite one too. Because, but yeah. only one of them can be the star. So he can be the star and these can be the yeah. other ones. Oh yeah. I, I do like it because it, it kind of look it it looks like Look at these, they look like little caterpillars. <laughs> yeah, or pollen or... Yeah, just... I'm just trying just, not to get it in that. Hey, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, okay. Right, how do you sign off on your video? And, and remember, every time you make a painting, if you want, keep painting. Let's go. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.